Hello, most of you know me as Marjorie, the CEO of MSX Media. Today is just a little bit different. Usually I'm giving you tips and tricks on how to uh, increase your revenue or your net profit by retaining customers longer or improve sales training. Got it. Today, a little different. In fact, uh, if you need to shut the door or put your earphones on, this is a little um, different from our business advice. And the way it's different is that it's more fundamental. It goes deeper and reaches a lot further than a spreadsheet. And it will be definitely unexpected from what you're used to hearing from me. But it's something that I've learned over the last few years that has changed my life all for the better. Ready? Okay. First off, may send a little woo-woo on a couple of occasions here. So if you're uncomfortable, that's okay. No judgment here. What I'd like to talk to you about is really our ability as humans to tap into a much greater energy and a much greater consciousness and intelligence than what we are here encased in this human body. There's lots of names for it, lots of programs out there. What I'm going to do today is share one small part with you that has helped me tremendously uh, getting through three years of cancer battles um, and then coming out on this side thinking, wow, now I know some of the things that I did that I would have done different had I known, but I know them now, so now I get the chance to do them different. So let's get right to it. Take a deep breath. Relax yourself. Both feet firmly on the ground. Hands not clasped, not hold tight because you're not sure what's coming. Just relax them. Set them somewhere comfortable. Next is listen and try to listen with your heart. My message that we are all light beings meant to be filled with joy and love every single day. Deep breath. Some will have chills. A few will go, uh, wait, wrong video somehow. And I totally understand those will go, this is way out there, way too woo-woo. I don't know where Marjorie went that's the business guru, but I don't like this. I'm shutting down now. Understand. I was there too. The reason I'm stepping out of my traditional business guru role is that to do business with the maximum health and prosperity, it starts inside of us. And what starts first and foremost is understanding that we can receive love, but we only receive a small part of it until we love ourselves. I know, I know, you've heard it all over. That's a very trite saying. Take a deep breath, though, and think about it. Can you say, I so deeply love every single part of myself? Yes? Good. Not sure? Still okay. Because now you've asked the question. Your subconscious mind has heard it, and it's going to be working on it, poking at you a little, and that's all good. Back to this moment in time, though. This is your moment. Take it. Take this as a gift to yourself and a gift to your future, your future of prosperity, your future health, your future relationships. Because when you breathe deeply and when you think about when we're born as babies, being around a baby, you'll pretty much understand they're joyful little folks. They don't come in worrying about mortgages. They don't come in thinking um, that skin color makes me uncomfortable. They don't come in thinking, wow, I'm worrying about something six months from now. They come in full of joy and expecting to live that way. That's kind of our life contract. We come to this life, you know, joyful beings. And gosh darn, so many things happen. The cool thing is, though, if you think back and you bring that forward, you can bring some of that with you. I absolutely did not used to believe 
a word of what I was saying when I was hearing it out of other people's mouths. So, caveat here. Um, I would have shut this down. I would have thought way too woo-woo. I would have been very uncomfortable. I would have gone back to the boardroom with my poker face ready to negotiate. I can still go to the boardroom with my poker face ready to negotiate. But inside of me, I know that one of my priorities is the greater good while I'm doing it. Nobody else has to know that I'm a joy-filled being, if that's not something that's appropriate at the time. So I guess I'm trying to say this is not an either-or. Either I am a successful business person, or I am some hippie chick on the corner spouting love and joy. They're not mutually exclusive. Actually, the better you combine them, the more prosperous and abundant you will be in so many areas. So let's get back to that saying again. Another time. Breathe deep and actually feel it from your head all the way through, all the way to your feet that are set firmly on the floor, not crossed, to your open palms. I am a light being. I am filled with joy and love every single day. I am a light being. I am filled with joy and love every single day. Congratulations on giving yourself those moments. I encourage you to give yourself those moments as many times per day as you need to. And the next time that someone swerves in front of you without a blinker, you're still going to get angry. You know, may say some words or honk the horn. Uh, get home and the house is a disaster. Feel that frustration. Let it come through you. You know what? All of those things are still part of life because the, the real focus behind this is feeling everything completely. Because if we really are honest with ourselves, we kind of shut off most of our emotions throughout our business life because it's just, it's become too painful because we didn't know how to cope. Now, this is one of the coping me mechanisms, knowing that you have joy and love, access to that at any time. You just open yourself up to it and it will be provided through whatever source that you name it. There's a lot of different names, God, Spirit, Great Mother, source energy. The point is, something greater is just waiting there to fill you with that joy and love. Your job, to receive it and then radiate it back out. But you are human, so when I talk about the full range of emotions, that means everything from the joy and the sorrow. They go hand in hand, sometimes at the same time death of a loved one, the birth of a new family member. One of the best examples I can show, sorrow and joy. You know, happiness and anger, despair and hope. Some people might want to think they just want to live in this one little strata. I just want to be joyful all the time. I don't, I think it would take drugs or medication or something prescribed to do that, uh, but that would be a false one. Because we are meant to have the full experience, dark and light, because you can't have one without the other, it just kind of turns gray. So remember that. And remember, you came here to be a joyful being. You came here to receive and radiate love. You're also here sometimes dealing with some of the nasty stuff that happens in business and some of the people that just, you wonder what rock they crawled out from under. The point is now that you know some of this, you should not be that person crawling out from under the rock. You're the one taking the higher road, still maybe with that poker face, but in your heart, you know where your center is and that this is temporary and that your job is to keep going forward with as much joy, sharing that with as many people 
and living your life with the purpose you're meant to live. Enjoy it. Take the sorrow. Take the joy. Take the love. Take the sadness. It all goes together into what we call a really abundant, prosperous life. Thank you. This went way far from the usual videos of, you know, how to increase profit by keeping your clients longer, right? That's there. It's even better with all of this. And all of this, this is just a small part of it. If you are interested in knowing more, how to combine your life purpose and your energy along with your business, let me know. I'm available. Marjorie, M-A-R-J-O-R-I-E at M S X media.com. I hope you have a joy filled day. Go out and get them. Be the prosperous person that you're meant to be.